the um, Truth and Reconciliation Commission talks about re-establishing a relationship. I can't help but think of my own journey and how the hurt, the pain as a result of the sin and it could not be fixed. Even when I went into the traditional camp I realized that that Yes, they cried out to the Creator as they understood Him. Yes, they wanted to live right in the eyes of the Creator. But I couldn't find it because I was stained. I was... I was unclean in my spirit, man. And as much as I tried to feel clean, feel redeemed, go to the ceremony, I still felt no different deep inside it still clung to me the stain of sin so I cried out to God as I understood him I start seeking I knew that my life depended on it I started seeking God in God, in His great mercy, He revealed Himself to me through the person Jesus Christ. And I understood then mercy, grace. I didn't deserve forgiveness. I didn't deserve the reconciliation. I was undeserving. But still the empathy through the eyes of Jesus because he understood he walked as a human he understood so I was received I was accepted I was shown that I was loved and once again I started to learn to forgive myself, to love myself. And I started on my healing journey. It's a relationship now that I'm in with my Creator, my God. It's daily. His love is, surrounds me. It's all encompassing. I can't do anything really without it or go on without believing that it's there and knowing and he sends me reminders all the time through ch little children through his words his word through others through circumstances so I go on now I have life yet again, once again. And so it is with this reconciliation they talk about now, truth and reconciliation. And it's ironic, it was the churches that has brought us to this place where we're talking truth and reconciliation. I'd like to submit and re when I it's a reflection of a personal journey 
back to a relationship with our God, with our Creator. And in that, there's redemption that's needed. If that relationship is to be whole, there needs to be redemption. Forgiveness, empathy, reconciliation, relationship. The foundation of the relationship needs to be truth. It needs to be grounded in what is truth. It's a heart matter. It's a matter of the heart. It's not going to change until the heart of the matter is dealt with. And in each one, each one of us, each person on that journey, on that road, if there is to be reconciliation, needs to deal with their own heart on the matter. The healing, the collective healing is about individuals in the collective and their own personal redemption. in and of the sins of the fathers. What does that mean to you? You need to seek, search within what it means to you as an individual. You need to find that answer within yourself. I can tell you what it was for me But that's all I can do is tell you my story. You have to find your own story. It brings you to that same place. Where you're able to walk. A redemptive. reconciled life that is the heart of the matter therein lies the answer It's not easy, it's not simple. It requires humility. A letting go. A taking up. In relationship. that's meaningful and 
is founded on truth. Be with you.